I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. It's happening. I'm going to mix 21 shades of Arctic Fox hair dye and dye my hair with it. So from the last video, as you know, this side of my hair is all of these shades behind me here. Every single one of them has been spliced together to give me the most bizarre rainbow dash mane that you've ever seen. And of course, what sort of sane person would not want to know what this would look like if you just mixed all of it together? So I have here my handy little acrylic container so you can see all the action. I'm gonna need a scale so that we get an equal amount of every single color in the container. So without further ado, let's get started with the shade Rose. Now, Electric Paradise, Virgin Pink, Wrath, Poison, Sunset Orange, Cosmic Sunshine, Neon Moon, Neverland, Phantom Green, Iris Green, Aquamarine, Blue Jean Baby, Poseidon, Periwinkle, Girls' Night, Purple AF, Violet Dream, Ritual. Now it's at this point that I'm actually gonna stop and mix this first because the only other two colors to add are silver and black. And I really wanna see what the actual colors themselves do before we add the black. I suppose you wonder why I've gathered you all here today. Our world's greatest leaders have assembled at the AF Summit of 2021 to witness this momentous occasion when we finally learn what color of soup will this turn into. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's a dog hair in there. How did that happen? I wonder what it looks like. Oh my God, look. <laughs> look at it from the bottom. <laughs> oh, sh oh no! Crap, here goes. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay guys. <laughs> no. I think it's gonna be purple. I really think this is gonna turn purple. So it's kind of a plum color. At first I thought it was purple, but there is a little bit of red in there, especially if I just kind of hold this and you can see the light through it. The only thing left to do is Sterling and Transylvania. All right, here goes. All right, still purple. Actually, more purple now and not quite as red. Before we put the black in, it was a little bit more red. Oh my God. I don't think my hair has ever been so dark. <gasps> oh God. All right, so here it is. This one doesn't have black and this one does. And you can see what a difference that it made adding the black to it. It's definitely more of a plum here. And uh, obviously it's darker, no surprises there, but it's really changed the entire tone. It's more of a cool tone now. And in here, it's more of a warm tone. So with that, now that it's all mixed, let's get to dyeing. Over the past two years, you guys have left a lot of great comments for me, leaving fantastic feedback on how I can get an even application of color on my hair. And unfortunately, I'm just, I'm, I'm not able to do that today. Why? Following instructions is just, I don't think that I'm physically capable. So yet again, this is going to be another half-assed janky hair job. But as I always say, you did not come here looking for professionalism, did you? Hmm. How am I going to do the back of my head without help? There is literally no one that can help me in life in general. Uh, also no one that can help me with my hair today. You know what? That wasn't a bad idea. I mean, no part of this was a good idea, but putting this mirror here wasn't a bad one. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh shit. Color in the lines, Alex. Come on, color in the lines. You can do it. You can do it. It's so purple. I don't believe it. I do not have the coordination for this. I'm moving my hand forward in the mirror, but it's going backwards on my head. Now, obviously, not a single hair under this layer will be covered. I'm going to try and get in under there. I really should have done this properly. You know what? Glove. Glove. It's all fun games until you realize you're in over your head. Oh, my arms are getting tired. You think 
that given the amount of times I've dyed my hair, I might have built up a bit of resistance, but no, I'm weak and pathetic. If this is absolutely horrible and I hate it, I have one of two options. Shave my head or dye everything black. I'll put a little bit of a poll up here. You guys can tell me what you think I should do. I will always appreciate hairdressers. I would love to hear horror stories from hairdressers that have had someone come crying to them. Someone like me that's done something terrible and made a big mistake. What was their mistake and what did you do to help them fix it? If you're a teenager and you have strict parents and they don't let you dye your hair, show them this video and say, Mum, Dad, Exhibit A. This girl wasn't allowed to dye her hair until she was a married adult and moved out of home. If you don't give a child freedom when they're young to express themselves, they're going to act out in their mid-twenties and no one's going to take them seriously in life. Is that what you want, Mum? Just let me dye my hair pink. You'll be doing my mid-twenties self a favour. So now we're gonna go in with a shade that has the black in it. And I think I'm just gonna put it straight on my hand, to be honest, because brush takes time and I have a sponsorship to film. Here goes. You know what's sad for me? If you just watched my Princess Polly video, I was looking at myself thinking how nice my hair looked. I was like, yeah. My hair is actually looking really cool with the, the pastel pink and the greyish purple and the wolf cut. It's, it's still coming up Millhouse. It looks pretty nice. And then I did this. One step forward, two steps back in my life. Always. Wow. It's so dark. As I'm brushing it, it's looking blue. Oh, I'm glad that I got this comb out because as I'm combing through, it's revealing bits that don't have much colour on them. I need to find myself a good hairdresser in Sydney that's willing to take on the challenge of fixing my hair for me. That's it. The deed is done. There's no going back now. So I'm going to leave this in my hair for 30 minutes, which is just enough time for me to cook some lunch. All right, so for lunch, I'm going to make quick bacon and cheddar fritters, thanks to HelloFresh. Thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I always love working with brands that I actually use in real life and Dan and I have been using HelloFresh for almost two years now. It was the biggest lifesaver during, uh, well, you know, the whole ordeal that we've all been through because it meant that Dan and I could stay at home, get our groceries delivered on our doorstep at the same time every single week without even having to think about it because it's a subscription service. They just turn up for us at our nominated time every week. Sometimes we switch it up between two portions and four portions, depending if we're entertaining friends and uh, not that we've been doing that lately, but we can from now on. And actually, you know, this is completely unrelated to the sponsorship I'm about to do, but can I just tell you how excited I am for Christmas? Christmas is coming up, so let us bring it to your doorstep this year. Roast chicken, Christmas heritage ham, pear and pecan salad, saute greens, garlic and rosemary potatoes. But anyway, that's, they, they didn't ask me to tell you about that. They just asked me to, to cook a meal on camera. So I'm gonna be making my quick bacon and cheddar fritters. And if you've never used HelloFresh, it's so easy. This recipe is a 20 to 30 minute recipe. They send you the meal kit, which is the paper bag. What we've got in here, seasonal farm fresh ingredients that are pre-portioned, which means that there's no food wastage. That was one of the worst things for me before I was using HelloFresh. I'd go to the grocery store, I'd buy like a, a whole cabbage for a recipe and I'd only use a small amount of it and then it would sit in the fridge and it would go off. So HelloFresh sends you exactly the quantity that you need. I need the two bits of spring onion, I need this whole bag of spinach, and also the packaging that HelloFresh uses is either made from recycled materials or it's completely recyclable. If you guys want to try it for yourself, go to hellofresh.com slash prettypastel14 to get 14 free meals and three free gifts. There's dozens of menu items to choose from every week, including quick and easy options, vegetarian, low carb, low cal. Everything you need to make your recipe is sent in perfectly 
bright portions so you don't even have to think about it. I'm not even looking at the recipe right now. I know what the recipe says because I gave it a quick read through and I know that everything in front of me here is going in this bowl and it's all getting mixed together. I don't have to measure anything. The only thing that I do have to measure, the only thing they haven't sent, is what they call pantry staples. So aside from the flour and my own silky bantam chicken eggs, everything else that I needed for this recipe was sent to me in that little brown paper bag. And just like that, in under 30 minutes, I have myself the most delightful looking lunch. And this is all the food scraps that remain. That only took me 20 minutes to cook. So I've got 10 minutes to eat now. Oh my God. Oh, yum, so nice. This is 10 times better than anything I ever got from any cafe. And I mean that, like seriously. So don't forget, if you guys wanna try it for yourself, go to hellofresh.com slash prettypastel14 to get 14 free meals and Three free gifts. All right, I'm gonna finish this and then we're gonna rinse out my hair. Are we friends again, Archie? From the last time you hecked me? Do you remember what you did to my hand? Do you remember the unicorn band-aid I had to wear for a week? Let's go have a shower. Do I look crazy, Archie? Has mummy lost her mind? Maybe. Rinse out. All right, I haven't looked at myself in the mirror yet. I don't know how it's washed out. I'm hoping that it's washed out to be kind of like a, a deep, a really deep ready kind of purple, fingers crossed. Okay, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. Okay. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. <sighs> oh. I'm, I'm gonna blow dry it. I'm gonna blow dry it and see what it looks like when it's dry. <laughs> oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> I look like Boo Boo, the absolute f***ing fool. I can fix this. I, I can, I can fix this. I swear. Give me a bit of time and some Valium and uh, I can fix this. So both of these sides have been washed out with nothing but lukewarm water. I didn't use any shampoo when I washed this side and I haven't used any shampoo on this side either. What I am going to do now I'm actually going to say goodbye to the pink at the front of my hair because that's causing all sorts of weird issues. I'm gonna take whatever this red is, I have to go refer back to my chart, but whatever that red is, I'm gonna start that here because I think that I'll look a little bit more normal if this random patch of hair here and all of this is the same. Because then at least from front on, I'll just have the two kind of colors. Then I can have all the rainbow and everything swept to the back and uh, I can even, you know, put my hair up like this and it'll look like I've just got a dark side and then a red side. So this is the last that you're gonna see of the three pinks at the front. I'm actually a big fan of these pink colors. I think they're delightful. You know, if I hadn't just done this and if I just had a nice clean blonde base, I would totally dye my hair this color, which I think was virgin pink. It's just a really, really pretty shade. So I'm gonna take all of this here and I'm gonna do it red. I'm gonna do it this shade of red. I'm also gonna shampoo it, which will probably take away a little bit of the color. So you, this is the last time that you'll see it freshly dyed, you know, with, with no shampoo applied to it at all. And that's what they all look like. That's what all the shades look like. That's what the mix looks like. It's uh, not so even but that's to be expected. And the dark part that did have the black mixed into it, it is very dark. It's, it's not 
black, but it's definitely like this close to being black. So, all right, okay, I can fix this. I can, I swear. I know you don't believe me, but you wait. You just wait and see. Here it is! Here's the final result. I am, uh, <laughs> uh, <b> <laughs> uh <laughs> I don't really have any words, to be honest. Um, it, it didn't turn out exactly the way that I thought it would. Now, I had my hair tied up at the back just then because I thought it looks a bit nicer short and with just the two-ish colours, you know, just the red and the kind of purple. Uh, if I bring all of it to the front, wow. Wow, it's fun. <laughs> Let's just say that. Let's just say it's fun because it is. I mean, who doesn't have a point in their life where they want to dye their hair rainbow? I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Now that I've done it, uh, can't wait to shave it all off. <laughs> what happens every time I do one of these crazy hair dye experiments? I do the big reveal and I'm not a big fan and then I wash it down a fair bit and it starts to turn pastel and then I start to love it. So over the next few days I'm going to be washing my hair to see how the colour fades. You know what? I actually shampooed it so many times in the past hour. I just kept applying the shampoo and rinsing it out and I thought I'm just going to keep doing this until the colour stops running. You know, I just wanted the water to run clear. It did not. I, I swear I used an entire bottle of Head & Shoulders just then, trying to dilute this colour a little bit. The colour just keeps running and running and running. <laughs> so there is still a lot of fading to do, that's for sure, because every time I put water on it, there's still colour coming off. So I think when I do get to the point where the water's running clear when I wash it, it's probably going to start pastelizing itself a little bit. Don't know if that's going to happen with this side. I will tell you what, when I first washed it and shampooed it the very first time, the bottom was very black. Like, I was like, oh dear, that's, that's not going to wash away. And then as I continued to wash this, it started to show notes of blue. Down the bottom here particularly, there's a lot of blue kind of turning up down here. And when I put the red over the top of the pink, I also put a little bit of that red over the hair on this side of my head because I thought, I kind of, I want the fringe at least to be one colour. And the red actually took quite well over the top of this weird purpley kind of colour. It took very well actually. So it's kind of almost making this red to purple to blue to black kind of gradient. At the moment, I feel like a macaw. I, I literally feel and look like a tropical parrot. I don't mind, but I'm very interested to see what my husband has to say. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! That's insanity! Do you like it? It's so pretty! Thank you! Oh, good job! Oh, I'm so oh, impressed! I'm so, I'm so glad you like it! Oh. You like it? Yeah, it's lovely! <laughs> yes. Wow! It's crazy! It's so intense! Oh, your hair's also sticky! Oh, but that's uh, your styling wax! <laughs> I stole it! What, my beard wax? No. Really? <laughs> Give me a hug, I'm so traumatised oh. from what I've just done to myself. <laughs> well, you've done a great job. Do you know what it is? Do you know what I did? Uh, uh, did you do an undercut? No, 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 no. It's... Oh, you mean other than the dyeing of the hair? Yes, the dyeing. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what, what this is? This is the mismatch. This is this is the soup, as we dubbed it. But how did you get it to grey day like that? I, you know, um, it just happened. So like because you go from pink to purple to blue. When I mixed all of the colours together, I separated the black and I did one that was just the colours, mm. and then I did that on the top, and then I the bottom bit I added black to the mix because I knew that adding black, I was like, what if I add the black and then I put it on my roots and then it doesn't wash out. So I did the- Then you end up with black, it's like, yeah. ah, yes. Yeah. So the, this bit was all of the colours mixed together without black and then this bit had 
this like equal right. amount of black mixed in with it. Wow. Uh, and then I didn't like it at the front because we, Kayla and I put pink on my fridge yeah, and, and it didn't look right. So I put red over the top of the pink and then I put a little bit of the red over the top of the purple or like, you know, the concoction. I put a bit of red over it just to mm. see what would happen. So it's mm. kind of turned a little bit red and it's like red to purple to blue yeah. to black. It's, it's That's not, really pretty. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know what's cool for me? When I tie this back, mm. look. How's that? Nice. So it's just like red and purple. That looks really cool, don't you think? You look like the girl out of uh, Blade Runner or like Ghost in the Shell. What it's like. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone loves your references. Never stop making them. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. No, I love it. <laughs> Hello. It's been a number of washes now and I thought that I would show you what it looks like. No, I haven't cut it. My hair is just a lot curlier now that it's shorter. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like after, God, I don't even know how many washes. At least 15. 15, I would say. Obviously, as to be expected, the red, all of the reds are kind of still holding in there. They're, oh, no, hang on, I lie. What was this one? Next colour. Sunset orange. Surprise, surprise, it is orange. <laughs> there was like a fire truck red color, which I think is actually this kind of pinky color now. Then there was the orange, which is basically faded into nothingness. The yellow is definitely turning kind of green. Then we get to the greens, which are still green. I kind of expected that. Blues, which are obviously still holding in there too. The purples and the black at the back somewhere here, which is actually gone. I feel like the black has turned purple now. Uh, and then on the concoction side, look at this. The top part, which didn't have the black mixed in, is going very, very light. And then as we get down to the bottom where we did have the black, it's it's almost kind of periwinkle. You know, what I've been thinking is that when I tie my hair up like this, and I just see the sort of half purple and half kind of red, I do really, really like it. Uh, and then obviously when I pull the hair to the front and it's like, whoa, hello party. Uh, it looks a bit odd and I kind of almost feel a little bit embarrassed to exist, but only because it looks kind of janky. So I was thinking I might actually go sit down with that mirror in the front and the back and try to kind of touch it up a little bit. I'm going to put more red. I actually think I'm going to get a really deep red. Seeing that little colour of red come back into my face, I was like, oh yes, that's right. This is how nature intended me to be. I am a ginger. So I, I really in enjoyed that. So I'm going to pick one of the reds and I'm going to probably go over all of this, I would say, including the yellow, because the yellow is just, it's not working out great. And then I might, might leave the, I don't know. Look, anyway, I'm gonna do something to my hair and I'll be back soon. Well, I did something, but you're gonna have to come back tomorrow to find out what. <laughs> <laughs>